So I think I was 13. I was just starting to come into like a, my puberty, and whatnot. So it was it was a great pivotal time for me. I was uh, interested in a girl, so we had set up a date, and I was going to go over to her parents' house and. Uh, her grandfather lived close with an apple orchard. It was like pretty much my first date with a girl. We had the apple orchard and we went and picked a bunch of apples and pressed apple cider and had fresh squeezed apple cider while we walked through the orchard. We uh, pressed the apple cider and I distinctly remember her grandfather telling me that if I respected him and wanted to show him you know, that I was a man, that I would drink the entire jug of apple juice that he handed me. And I was, at a, I was ready to prove to him that I respected him and that I wanted to show him that I liked his daughter, his granddaughter, and that I would drink all of it. Uh, it's about a half a gallon. And then I started walking through the apple orchard. And we were talking about just anything, just getting to know each other. And I, I noticed my stomach was starting to make some noises. And I felt it just rumbling and gurgling. And I asked her, where, where the bathroom was and she pointed back towards the farmhouse and it looked like a pinprick in the horizon just so far away and I tunnel vision and I looked back at her and I just I'll be right back and I tried in the hardest that I could to keep my composure and my first step I lost everything and I, I shit my pants but I didn't want to turn around or make a scene or let her know anything or do that weird like clinch your butt cheeks walk waddle so I just continued stride for stride back towards the farmhouse and continued to just shit myself the whole way uh, I had poop pooling up in my socks and shoes as I walked into the farmhouse and found the bathroom really sweaty and nervous and scared and I crawled in to the bathroom and took my pants and my underwear and my socks and my shoes off. And I piled my underwear and my socks together and then wrapped them in toilet paper and threw them in the waste basket and put my pants and my shoes on and walked home about two and a half miles with no underwear or socks in shitty, shitty legs. And I never talked to her again and I never heard anything about it. Yeah, we still had class together. I froze in public when I saw her again. I didn't tell anybody about this story for a solid seven or eight years. I didn't drink apple juice for a long time after that either. 